Hey there, it's Mark Freely, the North Shore Injury Lawyer. Today I want to talk to you about the, the life of a case, uh, really what happens, what's the procedure when you're involved in a car accident, you're injured, it wasn't your fault, you go to an attorney, you sign a retainer, you hire that lawyer to represent you for a bodily injury action, um, where they're going up against the defendants or the other side's insurance company and trying to get you a settlement. And if they're not able to get a settlement, now they have to start the litigation process. So what is this litigation process? Um, basically, um, the beginning of the process is to file a summons compla complaint in one of the New York State Supreme Courts, um, which one depends upon where the accident happened or where you live or where the other person that caused the accident lives. Those are our three choices of what we call venue, meaning where we can place, what court we can place the, um, the action in. So we prepare that, our process server um, serves a copy on the, um, the person or people who caused the accident, and then they turn it over to their insurance company who provides them lawyers free of charge to defend them in the lawsuit process. Uh, once their attorneys get involved, they'll prepare a response to our lawsuit called an answer. And then they'll ask for all different types of documentation and information from us um, about our client and how and why the accident happened, what are our theories to prove it was their fault, and then um, a summary of what the injuries are, what treatment has been um, what medical treatment our client has undergone, and with which hospitals, doctors, therapists, what testing they've had. And we have to give copies of all those um, medical records, as long as with um, HIPAA authorization, so they can obtain the records directly from the providers themselves. We'll also give them authorizations, permitting them to get the, um, the no-fault file, um, if a person's out of work, they'll get an authorization to get the employment records and things like that. Um, then we, once we prepare that, we'll prepare what's called a bill of particulars, outlining the entire case for them on, uh, in a written document. And, um, and then we'll request an initial conference with the court called a preliminary conference. At that conference, uh, your attorney will meet with the uh, defense lawyers um, and a clerk of the court, prepare an, an order uh, outlining a timetable for the rest of what has to happen discovery-wise along the case. Um, in the biggest things in that uh, discovery order are dates for depositions and dates by which um, uh, independent medical examinations ha have to be conducted by the other side's doctors. And we call them independent, but really between me and you, they're not. Um, so anyway, um, so the biggest step forward after that would be a deposition where you'd be asked questions under oath by the adverse uh, attorneys and your lawyers would also ask questions of their client uh, to try to establish fault or liability on the other car. Once that's done, um, you'll be seen by one or more of their doctors depending on the nature of your injuries of different specialties, whether it be an orthopedist, a neurologist, something like that. And then basically everything is done in the case at that point. Um, there'll be a compliance conference along the way where the court checks in on us to see if we're doing our homework um, to make sure everything's getting done in a timely manner. And then we'll have what's called a certification conference um, where the judge will bring us in and make sure that everything's done. If everything's done, they give us permission to put the case onto the trial calendar. And when I do that, all my clients say, oh boy, does that mean we're going to trial? No, it just means that everything's been done so the case is ready for trial. And that um, that's when most of the insurance companies will now sit down and take a really hard look at the, um, the file. You know, they'll see the attorney's report that was prepared in terms of the deposition and how it went and what they feel the case is worth. And they'll look at their doctor's exam reports and they'll come up with their value of the case and we'll enter into settlement ne negotiations. And if we can't, we might consider mediation, arbitration. There's also summary jury trials and then there's full-blown trials. Um, how long does it take to get to trial once the case is on the trial calendar? Depends county to county, but normally it's at least one to two years, and in some of the city count, uh, counties even more. 
So that's a summary, an overview of the life of a case. And if you have any questions about a pending case that you may have that may be not moving as fast as you want, you can give me a call at 631-495-495. 9435. I'll be happy to go on the court computer, take a look at what's been done, what needs to be done, give you a timetable. And remember, if you're not happy with your lawyer, you can change lawyers at any time for any reason. It doesn't delay your case and it doesn't affect your recovery at the end. So keep it safe out there.